Howdy folks! So for today's random teardown, I've got a USB power bank. Uh, this is uh, branded with CIBC, which is Canadian Bank. So this is obviously some cheap free handout thing um, to try and make you put all your money there. So uh, it's obviously just a single 18650 lithium cell in here. They've got some red plastic insert in this clear tube so you can't see the cell. They've got a little piece of what could almost be paper on the bottom so you can't see the cell. It's got in 5 volts, out 5 volts, doesn't say anything more than that. So uh, of course uh, I don't know what the current capabilities of this thing is. There's two holes on the side here and this thing has a red LED when charging and a blue LED when something is plugged in. Um, and I'm assuming they're supposed to be behind the, the the little holes, but that's a complete and utter fail. Um, they they just shine through the plastic. You just see this giant, you know, glow in this whole end cap area um, of whatever color. So uh, yeah, it's not great. The I've tried charging this, and the red light doesn't go off, um, but the thing cools down to the point where it doesn't produce any more heat. So I'm thinking that it just the light's just always on and you just sort of have to leave it plugged in for a certain amount of time and just assume it's done charging because um, I couldn't get it to actually stop charging or the light to go out but I know it wasn't charging because it wasn't getting warm anymore so I don't think it was pumping any more into the battery either that or it really takes a long time to auto shut off I don't know um, what is interesting is you can actually plug two things in at once you can charge it and discharge it uh, at the same time and you get sort of this purple glow from the two LEDs which is kind of nice um, the reason why uh, I've got this is because I want to use this as a effectively a UPS. Um, I have a project which uses uh, a Raspberry Pi, and I'd love to have that thing not go out when there's a power failure. So uh, my thought was rather than get a, like a big UPS because it's it's in a really strange place in my house. Uh, I just like to put this in line with the power, so the you know the charger goes into this and then this goes to the Raspberry Pi and this just sort of sits there and uh, as the, you know, it, it, it just, you know, takes over whenever there's a, a power failure. And if the thing is okay with constant charging and discharging, then, I mean, I'm happy. I don't know how long the cell would last if, if this controller is really weird, but uh, I, I don't know. I, I might as well try it. I mean, I have nothing to lose. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming it's safe enough. We'll find out. Maybe I can find the chip that it uses. I can uh, figure out if I should use it or not. But that's my goal. I wanted the single cell because it's not going to have to have a long run time. It's just for the quick power failure. Stops it from resetting. Maybe reduces the amount of file system corruption. So there's four screws underneath that label. Let's hope that's all there is. Let's hope it's not... Uh, glued on or anything like that. Yep, that screw is uh, totally fucked. Okay, so we are in. Nothing on the inside. Yeah, that one screw is really messed up. So we've got our little board here, and uh, let's see, can I pull the cell out from the wires? Yes, I can. Excellent. Okay, so the case is just clear plastic, which they probably, it's printed on the outside, so they obviously just print whatever on here. Um, the red plastic part is actually, looks like it's molded into it, so it's not like a sleeve, it doesn't come off, and whatever that white thing is is between the two. So this is our uh, our cell. So this would be an 18650. Doesn't explicitly say that. We've got some... Uh, it's not really foam. It's like more like cardboard on the ends. Uh, it's got Kapton on it. I mean it doesn't look too bad. Ten bucks for figuring out what cell that is. Not gonna bother. We've got our converter board here. Just got uh, USB on one side and the other side, and we have 
a chip. Let me get the magnifying glass out so I can read that. It is in... ETA 9635 mm. 34th week 2012 or mm. could be could be a day code could not be soldering quality is okay yeah we just got an inductor and that's it so yeah, I want to look up the topology of this and see how how it handles the USB, uh, how it handles the charging, because um, if if this isn't if this is going to constantly charge the battery, uh, I don't think it's really good for being plugged in all the time. But if it's okay with it, then uh, I'm okay with it. And who knows, maybe I could uh, stick some of my older cells in it. Actually. Yeah, yeah. See, this is a 17650, and that's an 18650. So you can see this is from these are those 19 year old cells. So you can see the that's the 17670. It's slightly or 17650. I don't remember exactly. 17670. Okay, yeah. So they're uh, you can see they're they're not as big. So yeah, who knows? I might change the cells out for. If this cell is really crappy, I've also got a uh, battery pack from my uh, that Toshiba X200 laptop I tore apart. I've got a bunch of cells from that. Those are 18650s, and those are pretty high capacity, so I might uh, replace this cell if it turns out to have shitty capacity. Not that the UPS needs a bunch of capacity, but I'm going to be doing a bunch of testing before I put it into service because it's a pretty mission-critical uh, embedded home automation product that this is going to be running which I will eventually talk about once it is no longer hush hush so uh, anyway hopefully uh, you found that interesting thanks for watching